Hey everybody, this is Matt here with GameZone.com. I am here with... Mike. He is our editor-in-chief, and today we are taking a look at Perfect World Entertainment's free-to-play MMO, Neverwinter. Yep, on the Xbox One. On Xbox One, of course. This game has been out on PC since 2013, but it is just now coming to Microsoft's Xbox One, and there's a beta going on this weekend. It's actually just started now. Just started today. Yep. Uh, and it's running until the 8th, so the servers actually just came up and we're taking a look at how it kind of plays, how it feels on the, on the Xbox compared to the PC, and just overall how the transition seems to be going. So we actually just dive, dove in. Yeah, this is still the second part of the tutorial. So I picked actually a Sun Elf to play as, which... To my knowledge, it was not in the base game when it first released. Yeah, I, um, I, like I said, it's been quite a while since, since this game has been out on, on PC, and as with most MMOs, over time you get expansions and, and this new module. And they definitely did add a bunch of, bunch of new stuff to the game, uh, because there were at least two classes that I didn't recognize uh, from before, and there were also a few new races. Mm -hmm. So there's definitely new stuff, and I'm assuming uh, story content might be new as well. Yeah, Neverwinter has a pretty rich story. Right. Uh, it's an MMO, so I don't personally follow stories, but I, I mean, the fans of this series, they're pretty, pretty in-depth with... Oh, and as you can see, Disconnected... So this, so this actually happens kind of frequently now in the beginning, um, so we'll, we'll try to get back there as soon as we can. Right. But the one thing that I do want to show uh, off which I think is the most striking thing is obviously how the game controls mm -hmm. and how it translates to a Xbox One controller. So if you notice that down here is actually kind of a slightly more cluttered HUD than it is on the PC and uh, it, it makes sense because there's a lot more buttons on the Xbox One controller. Mm -hmm. So the well, way... Well, that's not, I mean the PC has a lot of buttons. Let's be <laughs> keyboard aside, keyboard aside. <laughs> it's this thing we're talking about here. Um, so when you look at this, it kind of looks a little messy, right? Yeah, I mean, it looks, it, it, funny, it looks yeah. a little... Uh, I didn't really understand what I'm looking at. However, they actually laid it out to be corresponding with the actual yeah. controller as, as, as much as they could. So these four right here correspond to the four face buttons. These four is the D-pad. These two are your left and right triggers, whereas these two will be your uh, left and right bumpers. Mm -hmm. And then these two are your two thumbsticks when you click them in. So movement... What well, so, so they're actually abilities. So this right here is your teleport ability. Okay. And then, then that is if you want to auto-walk. Now this will something. change based on your class that you choose, right? Well, yes and no. Uh, your attacks will still always be left trigger and right yeah. trigger. But you will be able to customize your, um, your loadout. I yeah, should yeah, say, yeah. as you level up and learn new skills. So okay. you will you will filter through different skills and stuff oh, like that's that. Bad. Uh -oh. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Uh-oh. So you're going to get your little buddy here. <laughs> this is the tutorial, so this is pretty straightforward stuff. It looks yeah, like you, you have your health up, up in the top left. Um, I'm imagining that's experience. So the one thing that I think separates Neverwinter from, from most normal MMOs or you know the vanilla MMOs mm -hmm. is the fact that it's very action-based. And as you saw here, like... Every button press that you do corresponds to an immediate action. There is no, there is no like, cool down timers yeah. or anything like that. Uh, every time you press a button, you always shoot out a skill. Whenever there is, you saw the red circle underneath yeah. me, that was my cue to use my teleport to get out of it. Mm -hmm. So it's all very action based. It's all very like immediate. So there's no really waiting. Um, actually, here it's now telling me that I can use my daily yeah, power. Yeah, use your big gem. So your daily power. Oh, it's been so long since I've played this game. I, I mean, I go through MMOs pretty quickly. It's cool because this is free to play, so it's not like you're making that commitment. Right, um, right, right. That, that you don't feel pressured to play because you're, exactly. not, you're not paying a monthly fee. But um, it's hard to really get a feel for the game based on the tutorial. It is, it is. <laughs> and I, I tried to get through it as fast as I could. Ah, I can see. However, that. with the... Constant server drops, it's, yeah. a, it's a little tough, but it's to be expected. It's the first time that this game is actually on the Xbox One, so... So, aside from button layout, I mean, smoothness, how does it feel from, from a... General... Honestly, the game looks exactly the same as I remember it looking on the PC. I think it looks better than it looked on my PC. I mean, it's been a while since I've played it, but then again, I also had a pretty crappy PC, so maybe. But... Yeah, I, it doesn't look bad by any means. It, the animations are, you know, they're slightly stiff or whatever. But other than that, like I oh, think, oh, I think I think it controls well. I think it looks well. 
Uh, I haven't really seen any other players, but obviously that's yeah, that's because not, I'm still in the tutorial part, and it is a closed beta. It is so okay. yeah, it's not it's not open to the it's not open to the masses yet. God. I don't know if there actually is an uh, open beta plan. Um, and the other thing which I'm not exactly 100% about is how this game handles microtransactions because obviously free-to-play mm -hmm. games have to make money somehow. What? And, oh my god, I lured him up too far. <laughs> now he got all his health back. Oh, <laughs> lovely, yeah. lovely. So uh, I'm actually not sure what the what the item shop looks like in this in, in this game, whether it's purely cosmetic. Is it, is it available in the beta right now? Can we, can we look at that? Or? You know what? I probably can, Let's although I kind of want to kill this guy yeah. first. <laughs> Don't lure him back. Yeah, don't, don't do, do that. that. Oh, here, I'll teleport a little bit yeah, past that. Yeah, that way. Oh! Wait, what? He just... He he's, not, he's not that scary. Nah, yeah. Tutorial boss here. Yeah, let's let's, let's remember in, that. You could stand in that and be fine. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm actually Come not playing as, as one of the new classes yet. Got him! We win. I figured I'd uh, play as something that I'm more familiar with, which was the, the wizard. Oh, a female, yeah. of course. <laughs> I think that's a treasure chest. No, to your right, to your right. No, to your right. No, that's a barrel. Ah. But there's a guy there. But there's a guy. Ah, Private Wilfred. Sorry. You ah. I, I like how you skip right past those. Yes, because MMOs. <laughs> MMO. <laughs> so that was that, that, that's basically the end of that tutorial area. Great. And you actually go into the, the city Let's get part. into the world. I want to see. And that's when the fun happens. But so far, my impressions are that it it, it controls okay. I'm still. I'm, it is a little weird playing with a controller when I'm used to playing, mm -hmm. you know, MMOs in general with a with a mouse and keyboard. Although Final Fantasy XIV, I think, is the only other MMO that I've played mm -hmm. with a gamepad. And I thought was fun. Ah, oh, look at all these people! Oh no! So I think this is this is where we kind of see either the, the the servers having a slight struggle or oh, yeah, the, the frame rate. The frame rate took a smaller dip, but oh no. This, this person stuck. So as you can see, see th th they have some kinks to iron out of this thing. But other, other than that, that's I mean, the, that's the point of these kind of closed betas, you know? Yeah, it's, and betas it's, in general. It's but, they're not designed as marketing to get us to buy the games. Like this is to help them so that if you do decide to buy the game, it'll run. Right. The final product is actually. Yeah, we won't have any exactly. So Sim yeah, City stuff, problems, stuff so. like this will definitely happen, and it's a shame. But yeah. do, did we see the store? Do we have the the store? Let's see what that looks. Like. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is this that guy? Is he? Well, this is. So actually, this is not. not yeah. This is not the store. No. The store would probably be here. Yeah. Ah, Zen the market. Zen Market. Okay. Oh yeah. man, and it's oh. free. Well, you gotta love. You gotta love betas. There it is. Item received. Okay, so but we can actually. I guess kind of get... That's oh, free too! Free stuff! Yes! So you can kind of get a sense of what will be in the game. Yeah. So, so this is obviously a bag, increase your inventory space, and this is a costume piece, I oh. believe. Everything is yeah, free. Yeah, it's nothing... Oh. Love it, well, love it's, it. It's not special if everyone's getting it free. So it's not going to be pay to win, in a, pretty much. Uh, yes, because... As far as we could see in here, like let's look back at the items. Uh, it's it's just to I guess resurrect. Let's see if we can see what uh, recovers okay. you from near death with full health. Okay, okay. and stone of health will fully heal the wielder when used. So it's it's definitely not anything that will raise your power. There's no weapons that you can mm -hmm. buy. As you see, there's mostly all fashion and, and dyes and stuff like that. Yeah, and companions, but definitely no um, no weapons, no armor. So mm -hmm. definitely not pay to win. Okay, which is good. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of what you hope for exactly. in a, a free-to-play game. Uh, this game also will... It'll be free for Xbox One to download and, and play whenever, monthly. But you do need an Xbox Live Gold membership. Interesting. Um, yeah, okay, I yeah. I know that. Yeah, you need Xbox Live Gold. Um, which, I mean... You kind of should have that already. If you're playing an MMO, I imagine... If you play games online, you're going you're gonna to have that. True. That is required. True. Um, did you get disconnected again? I did. I did. Okay. Well, that's <laughs> it kinda, happens. Yeah, yeah. I'm, that's that's to be expected. We need to get out of here. Where where do you get your your quest? So this is actually the part where I'm at right now is the quest hub. Oh. That's the protector's enclave. Okay. So that's basically where you pick up all your quests and then you go around mm -hmm. the world to complete them. Oh. And that's also why it's so populated here. Because, yeah, that's probably why it's lagging a little bit. Yeah. It looks good. I mean, it's vibrant. It's that guy. He's got that. Right, yeah. What's he at? Or is that just something you can click on? Or press on? Rob, that's <laughs> your keyboard. No, that's a Zen merchant. 
Oh, so you can get to him through there, too. You can, yes. Yeah, so you see, a lot of this stuff is... Oh, this is all very expensive because it's mounts. Obviously, yeah. you can't be buying this right away. But I did see... Did I see something you could buy with... What is, see, what is this stuff down here? What's... That seems to be some sort of token that, that, that you use it for. I'm, I'm, I'm not really I'm sure. I'm so really. out of the loop with this game. Is there a map? A mini-map? Is there... Well, question. How do you talk to people? Well, that's actually a good point. I don't think that there... Yeah, batteries. Whoops, batteries. Gotta replace those batteries. I don't think there is a way unless you can connect a keyboard to the uh, Xbox One. Uh, I know that on the PS4, for example, if I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV, you can connect a Bluetooth keyboard, mm -hmm. and it works just as a keyboard normally would. You can just type to people. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming something similar works here as well. Although I would hope that they also have something with voice chat if you're yeah, at a party. Yeah, I mean, you can always take a party outside of the game. You can, yes. But if you're uh, connecting with... strangers. With, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. You That's, probably want some sort of communication, as we, as Destiny has taught us. Yeah. Having no voice communication can be rough. Although Destiny's players, they, they got around it, you know? They did a good job with that. Um, but yeah, you, you want that voice communication in, in an MMO. Especially in an MMO. Raids and everything. So where, where are we heading to? Do we talk to Sergeant Knox? Where is he? Where is he? So here we can follow our little... Ah, oh, that little... Uh, yeah, there's no, there's no mini-map per se, uh, but there's the breadcrumb trail, which... Now can you swap quests to, to go to a different, a different thing? You know what? I should be able to. <laughs> you don't know how to do it. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how, because I'm not sure how this control layout this works. This is yet. why you need those little manuals and like the books <laughs> that, they're, that they used to come in the boxes that would tell you what to do and what to press. I know to go up here, but actually if I... I do know that this maybe will... Oh, oh, there we go. Quest journal. All right, yeah, so there this? you go. How are you doing this? So that's how I did it. So draw a quest path. So, okay. so that answers your question. It, it, by pressing the, the back button or the Xbox One's okay. menu button, you can, oh. you can scroll through these menus. Oh, is that, is that experience now? It is experience, okay, yes. Okay, experience by. And I was able to go to my quest log here and then then switch oh my, my quest. So it, it's... It's actually somewhat clunky, to be honest, because yeah. because it's not as easy as just hovering your mouse over where you need to go and and you know switching that quest. Mm -hmm. You do have to kind of scroll through things, but hey, it's an MMO on my yeah. TV, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> that, yeah, that, and I would much rather. I know I'm I'm definitely in the minority here, but I would much rather enjoy a game on my couch than on a PC. I, I'm, I I'm not a PC. I, I'm not, I, I mean, I play PC games, but. I am traditionally a console player, so to see MMOs start to make their way over to the Xbox One, the PS4, I absolutely love that. I agree. Um, and, and it seems like it's working. I mean, we're seeing more and more of this type of thing happening. We're seeing uh, The Elder Scrolls Online, DC right. Universe Online. Planet Side 2. Planet Side 2. Eventually. The, yeah, eventually. <laughs> it's in close beta, so that's good. <laughs> so, so it's really cool to see this kind of thing happening. And we're going we're gonna to play this for a while and eventually have a write-up piece. So if you're not in the closed beta, um, you'll be able to come to, to our website, GameZone.com, and hear our impressions, get our, uh, our preview of, of what we're kind of experiencing. We'll also do a little bit more gameplay videos as well. Yeah, yeah, with, with not us chatting your ear <laughs> off. So Once again, uh, for, for all your gaming news, not just Neverwinter, uh, keep it tuned to www.GameZone.com. Once again, this is Matt. Mike. And thanks for tuning in.